Hello, welcome. We are live. I was just some toast because I'm. But we're on Minecraft. Um, I'm currently updating the list of locations because we're in a place that I didn't know we were. It turns out. So my idea with this place was that I'm going to build some massive underground sort of structure here. It's going to be some like underwater underground base with a very modest entrance at the front. Like that's going to be it. Although I might style the entire front base of it and have it extend round in each direction, but that's a project for another day. First, I need to get this location written on this list. And I also had to pull out the old list with all the coordinates on because I don't remember where our fort is. So, underground base, build progress, 2716, hold on a minute. It's already written down. Okay, it turns out I've already written it down and the plan is actually an underground village. Yeah, it's all good, SP. Okay, so I don't actually know if I'm going to get audio in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got audio. We're good. Okay, so where do we need to go? We need to go to. Minus 1,500 by minus 704. Minute. I've noticed something that needs to happen. Oh, actually. I'm trying to remember Minecraft control. Ah, all of these. Right, if I put all of them into a... Um, if I put all of them into a chest next to it, I don't have to find them all later. That'll help. And I'll have all of the kinds of base block I need when I come back in create. Um, that, there we go, we'll add that. Okay, so that's got all of my blocks there. I want to go that direction. That way. Okay, um, let's make it. Let's make it into. This will be why I can't hear the music. Like, it seems. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, so let's make a bed. Let's get it to be morning. Okay, we're good. This is going to be the worst one to get back from, because so far, I don't actually have any of my armor and stuff. Oh, that was a Enderman, wasn't it? Yeah, there he is. Hello. There you go. I've actually got a second screen ready to set up on this streaming computer. So the idea is that what I'm going to do is have two screens on there. One of them is going to be just stream. Top one. And then the other one is going to have everything else. So it'll have Discord, it'll have the redemption list. Don't even think about it. So I'll actually be able to see when things are happening on Streamlabs with the redemptions and stuff like that. Nice. Aha, a tree. And some sheep. Oh. oh. Okay, it's not that deep, that cave. There was a worrying moment then. I thought I might have chosen an island with like a massive cave in there. Alright. Oh, arrows. 
it'd be useful if I ever actually, you know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Creeper, creeper, creeper. You. Ah! You little bugger. Hey, at least it killed that sheep for me, though. Why did they do that? Why did they just turn up behind you? Oh, really? I'm gonna beat it to death with an arrow. <laughs> so close. It's almost a working command. Right, now I need some wood so that I can build a thing, a boat, and probably some tools. Some tools will probably help me. Where's that Enderman guy? Still hanging around. Keep seeing him. I may kill all these pigs as well. How are you? Just trying to think of ways that I can... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I put it back because I was holding it and accidentally hit the right click. Jeez. I am an idiot at times. I say at times, but I actually mean all the time. Oh, I heard the Enderman. I bet he's right behind me. There he is. He's, he's making his way in the opposite direction. I'm okay with that. We're okay. Alright, this is fine. This is completely fine. It's just an Enderman trying to kill us. For no reason, actually. I'm quite sure why they want to kill me. Yes, yes I do. It's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> and strangely enough, I don't actually like OBS anymore. I used to. I used to always use OBS as free. And then when I started using Streamlabs, like this is back on the old channels. Oh shit, me pig. Um, yeah, back on the old channels when I used Streamlabs OBS for the first time, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not liking you today, is it? It's having one of those days. Ugh. Don't worry. Oh, I changed all the auto mud stuff, so the auto mod filter mod filtering is actually a lot stricter than it was with language and race and sexual content and stuff like that which is why i removed those terms because i want to see what auto mod removes itself and then we'll add the ones that it misses is what i was thinking i just figure we might as well see what it automatically blocks and then add to it as opposed to trying to think of all of the awful awful words that we know <laughs> and putting them in because <laughs> that would take a long time yeah i just thought auto mod can figure it out for now makes our life easy as well Okay, that Enderman seems to have buggered off, which is actually quite... Oh, I jumped straight... Oh, it disappeared, that's why. I was going to say I jumped straight through it, but I didn't. There's a part of me that's wanting to buy uh, Planet Zoo and the complete version of Planet Coaster. But the problem is both of them come to like £85 in total. So it's like Planet Coaster is the one that I'm 
like more drawn towards it's till the end of today i believe on steam the sale like planet coaster is the one i'm drawn towards because i've played that before and like i grew up playing roller coaster tycoon and roller coaster tycoon 2 and it is just that <laughs> but i also grew up playing zoo tycoon and the way that they've made planet coaster makes me think that their version of zoo tycoon is actually going to be really playable and really fun but i don't remember ever having as much fun in zoo tycoon as i did in a roller coaster tycoon and zoo Ty uh planet zoo is still a lot more even even on sale But it's that thing of, it is on sale. <laughs> and so straight away you get tempted by it. Ah, steam and your sales. How dare you. Every two minutes. Trying to tempt me to buy something else. It's just rude. That's what it is. We yeah, am. I'm, I'm kind of tempted, but I'm not sure. See, I mean, your generous, generous donation is being put towards it anyway. <laughs> I mean, I have to wait till that account is at like a hundred pounds or something before I can actually take money out. Point is, someday that donation will be going back into the bank and will have been put towards this. But I'm thinking Planet Coaster, just because it's cheaper, I can get all of the DLC they've released for it at the same time, and I know that I enjoy Planet Coaster and would play it a lot more. You know, just like offline even. It's not a game that has to be streamed for me to think about playing it. Oh, that's the other tree that I've planted. I think we've got enough wood. What I don't want to do is make the mistake of converting all of this to planks. Because if I convert it all to planks, I'm going to be screwed. Because so far we'd be at 230, uh, no, we'd be at just over 200 planks, which wouldn't be fun to carry around <laughs> with Minecraft's limited inventory. Okay, so the sun is setting again. Now the problem is, I know, and you know, that there is a bed in that chest just at the other side of that hill the problem is technically that chest doesn't exist that is my chest of things to make my village with in creative and i don't want to break my own rules and start using stuff from it in survival as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, craft myself a little work crafting table. Then I'm going to get one of them. That. Get me that. Craft a bed. Let's face it, that's why we got the sheep. And then we'll sleep. <laughs> Let's do this. And then I'll have a drink that I made like 10 minutes ago. Okay, so I'm tempted to leave this bed where it is so that we always have that respawn point. But in doing that, it means I can't sleep again until we find some sheep. And it looks like we're heading into the desert. I don't know why I picked that up. That was a silly move. Go. 
Okay, I'll sort the inventory, then we'll set off. Dirt goes up there, bone goes there, arrows going into the corner. The O makes me think revelation. <laughs> Something has occurred. Yeah. Take your time, mate. I'll be here. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So I believe it was in this direction. Minus 1546. Minus 704. This will take us to minus... Try and get it in a straight line. That will take us to minus 704. And... This will take us to minus 1546. We've got further to go in this direction, though. So this time we are actually looking for that massive fortress that we made. There's a village. I just saw us. It's weird, because... In the... In the wild... To find something man-made, you're looking for, like, squared edges, you know, angles, stuff that doesn't naturally occur. In Minecraft, everything is a cube. So how do you identify man-made structure? Somehow, it is possible. Hello, dolphin. Aha. Villagers. I wish I'd have known about this because we were only on an island over there. But it just set off. <laughs> on the plus side, though, we have straw to trade with them. And we can steal a bed. Completely pointless. Hello, Al Hello, Gollum. Right, we'll take the bread. Rolled. And I'll have that bed. You don't sell me anything decent. Why I talk to him. You are pointless. Hmm. There's a fella. Hello. You're completely useless as well. Move. Photography table and back door because, you know, of course. Oh, so I came in from the. What? I'm so confused as to where I am. I came in there. I worked my way around this way. I'm glad they've not started closing the doors yet. Okay, that's the one with. That's the one with the cartography table. This is the direction I was heading. You, what do you do? Oh, uh, for one? No. Go away. Ah, that's what I need to collect. I need some torches. Why is there always a hole on every in every single village? Alright, we'll just grab some more torches. And then... We'll head out. I just need enough torches, really, to go around the edge of wherever I stay. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that as our safe zone. No, I've got 11 torches. That's a weird number. There we go. I'll have 10 torches. I've kind of forgotten the direction I was going. So torches go there. Food goes there. That needs to go tree up there. That'll do. I I've also just noticed that I've not actually... Ah, this is where I came in. In it. That's weird. Yeah, I came up there. Okay, I know where I am. It's fine. Hey, look, a temple. We'll go there. I've just realised that I've not crafted any weapons at all. Which is just weird. Someone's sending me pictures about, um... What game is it? It's... 
Oh my god, I've forgotten the name. It's not Ark. It's that other one that begins with A that everyone plays. Remember. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of text. Okay. Let me craft myself a couple of things. <laughs> uh, do that though. I need a spade. I think that's probably going to be useful as well. Okay. Ah, you say I've got chatbot installed, but they actually stopped using chatbot a while ago. So I don't actually have chatbot installed, I've only got Streamlabs OBS. At least I assume they stopped using it ages ago because I've never seen a download link for that specific program on the Streamlabs site in the last four years. Um, but anyway, what? So let's have a look. I'll just finish reading that. Oh, nice. Um, right. Well. Actually, if you use yours and just sort of mess around and figure out the commands, you could just just send me the commands and I'll manually add them. I think it is. Put it this way, the chat stream that I'm watching and everything else. There we go. I got rid of the pressure plate. I'm happy. Pretty much everything that I do is through Streamlabs OBS. The, the rest of the time, if you click anything to do with the bot, it actually takes you straight over to the website. This is what I just clicked. Tell you what, our stream looks clear, doesn't it? <laughs> it just showed me the stream then as well. Okay, we need the bone. And I never use horses. Bones. Take the bones. Get the bones. All the bones. All of the bones. And I want the TNT as well. I grab all of this sand should be enough for me to fill this gap in a minute which will push all of the TNT that I've dug up towards me see I know what I'm doing okay there's not enough sand um you come here your cut. Yeah, if you want to experiment with the commands, I forgot what we were saying then. <laughs> if you want to experiment with commands and then just like tell me what needs adding, like I'm cool with that. Makes life easier. Because otherwise, I'm going to be trying to mess with the whole system while streaming which doesn't feel like a good idea because we all know how clumsy I am <laughs> oh I forgot me torch oh <laughs> yeah I'm not going back for it that's upsetting I knew I should have got 11 torches there was a reason for it <laughs> Uh, 
And also, yes, that is my genuine disappointed voice. Just that. Oh. Oh. Um. How dark are we? The moon's just come up. Let's go and sleep in that village. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Bat, choose a direction. You're either in or out. There it is. <laughs> so satisfying. Yeah, it's all good, buddy. Don't worry. Thank you. I'll just kick the kid out of the bed. We've already established that I don't like the children in this. Creepy. Okay. Now to re-establish, or re-re-re-establish, the direction we were heading. I came from over there. I'm using this as my little marker. This little well thing. I recognize that scream in this music, that in this track. I've just realized as well that I was, I was heading in the right direction by walking through that village. I'm going in this direction, just more to the right than to the left. Oh shit. Um well that would have gone badly. Hey. Woo. <laughs> oh. Right. Um right, let's use the spade and let's make this a bit safer. Get rid of that. And let's go down and get some coal. Okay. So what do I need first? I need proper pickaxe, don't I? Because <clears throat> for some reason it doesn't like it with a wooden one. If I'm willing to struggle with a wooden pickaxe, I think I should be allowed. Yeah. Okay. That. One of them. That. Them. That. Them. I'm missing a single block. There we go. And I want one of them. Excellent. Right, we're slowly making progress here. We have a nice stack of everything else. You ought to be good to go. Switch to that. Pick that back up. Ah, while I'm down here, I should probably grab some of that uh, rock, shouldn't I? So I can make a furnace. Since there wasn't one to steal. I mean, borrow. In that village. I would never steal from a village. And a monster do you take me for? I was seriously looking for one. <laughs> okay, let's grab some more. Hey look, there's one of the blocks. So this is actually going to be... This is a last stream highlight, regular stream highlight, to go on YouTube. Hello YouTube. <laughs> From this moment on, everything on the YouTube channel is now gonna be just like custom made videos for YouTube. 
means I can set the amount of time I want to record for. I can have an idea what I'm going to do going into it. And we should be good. Streams are still going to be backed up. Streams will still appear on the full stream replay channel. Of course. But beyond that, YouTube is going to get its own content. And so, and so Twitch streams are actually just going to be Twitch streams. Nice. But yeah, so... Don't forget YouTube. Twitch exists. Come join us. Live on the same day that videos go up and we tend to finish just before the videos go live so you can watch an extra bit of me playing video games badly. If that's what you're into. H to their own. Let me check for direction. Yep, still going in the right one, which is pretty impressive. Considering it's me. <laughs> I'm not used to heading in the right. Oh shit. This is what I get for looking at the other screen. So yeah, one modification that's going to happen to the setup as well is because I have now five, I believe. I've got four. Between four and five windows open at all times. I actually need five open, but I've only got four at the minute. But because I need five windows open and my screen is only a small 1080 screen, what I'm actually going to do is set up my second screen. So one of them is just going to have Streamlabs on and monitor all of that. And probably have the Pretzel Rocks app open on it as well. Alongside that will be the second screen, which will have Discord, the redemption list for Streamlabs, the uh, redemption list on Twitch. All of them will be on the second screen. And along with that will be, hey look a village, along with that will be obviously the chat and stuff so I can just look at one screen really. The other screen is mainly there for monitoring how the, uh, how the stream's doing from a mechanical standpoint. Where's the sun? Almost setting. I'm sure we've been in to an identical location, only it was a desert biome. Or, no, we've been here. We've been here. I know we have. Like, I would put money on the fact that we've been here. I'll check the coordinates in a minute, but this is far too familiar. I'm sure of it. Yeah, there you go. That's our house. <laughs> you we'd been here. What's the location? 2060-1762. Um, hey, we're actually very close to two village. Is oh, oh, does that mean that the other village is over here? Yeah, there it is, just between the trees. Go towards it. This is two village, so there's one behind us. 
we spawned in. And we spawned pretty much directly on top of this. There. You can see it. There's a village. There's the other village. <laughs> I knew I'd been here before. I knew it. How do you... How in, like, a world made of blocks... It goes back to what I was saying earlier. How do you navigate in a world made of blocks? Like, how do you identify a man-made structure in it? Because what I found is I'm looking for like a different colour or a different type of brick in a biome that's all the same colour, basically. Like, the desert is all just sand coloured. So, you know what I mean? You're looking for that variance in colour. Oh, missed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, you can't get in this bed, buddy. I bet. There's one of those weird ones where you're looking for a squared off building in the distance in a world that is made of squares. I have. Good question, SP. So, 10 days ago today, on the 21st of August, I had 11 videos left to edit. Now, bear in mind that three to four weeks ago, I was editing a video 24 hours before it went live on YouTube and creating thumbnails about three and a half hours before it went live. I pretty much created thumbnails, then started streaming. Because obviously I don't know how long the streams are going to go on, so I don't know if the video is going to go live in that time. So that's how far behind we were. Ten days ago we had 11 left to edit. Right now, as it stands, if you include this stream, we have technically two and a half left to do. I'm already pretty much done with one part of the Grand Theft Auto stream. It's being split into two parts. One part's only like four or five minutes long. At the end of the stream, that pick a door pick up challenge is actually going to become the pick it people pick up challenge uh, and that's having its own little video and get a hashtag and all that going for it and so that's going to be like a little thing that we do and I've got I want people to submit entries on Twitter and on the Discord channel all that stuff it's going to be our first like little not competition because it's not really a prize at the end of it but maybe that should be the maybe i should like have the prizes being added as a vip this is dangerous this is dangerous this is dangerous this is dangerous oh yeah maybe i should have the prize for it being like be a vip on the twitch channel or something but the basic challenge is how many people can you get in the back of a picador between the pier and the marina in GTA 5. I've already raided that village. There's no point in going back and trying to raid anymore. But that's having its own little separate video. The main video is like 15 minutes, as always. But it's pretty much done, which is the impressive part. Um, so I've got the stream from Friday to do and this stream then we're done with full stream highlights <laughs> I also have a load of thumbnails to do but the thumbnails are like easy I enjoy doing thumbnails I've always enjoyed image editing more than video editing but what I have found as well is the three streams from two weeks ago now the, they were about 90 minutes each something like that when I was editing them it wasn't as bad when I was editing the 
first of the two hour streams, which was the long dark. I think that was like two and a half, three hours. Because I like my streams to be around three hours, but I just haven't been able to lately. Uh, when I was editing that one, I actually found that it seemed to be a lot harder to motivate myself to do it because I knew how long was left to watch. I hope I'm going in the right direction. I just don't want to check the compass thing again. But yeah, so like, because I have to rewatch the entire stream. I have no idea. Actually, I'm, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, SP, you're probably more well versed. <laughs> yeah, I. That's not actually an issue I've had, but it's also an issue I've not really been equipped to have. Um, why have they buried this portal? <laughs> Don't worry, SP. Right, I'm going to take the coordinates for this place. Uh, nether. It's a nether portal, isn't it? Buried is 1589. Okay, not a problem, SP. And yeah, just Jackson lads, I have no about anything like that. honest. <laughs> Sorry. Like, I've not even got to the point of setting up my emotes and stuff on here yet. Which I really do need to get on. But as I said, I'm just trying to finish the editing. Get all of the editing done. That way I can move on and concentrate on everything else. Okay, we're heading in this direction and that direction. Excellent. He really needs food, though. Okay, next biome with a load of food. We'll stop. Unless I can get these fish. Come here, fishy. Come on. Come on. Oh. Got ya. Got ya. Have that. Okay, now we need a furnace, which would have been easier to just steal from that other village, because I'm pretty sure they are. There's a village. Okay, hopefully they've got one. Because I know we have enough coal. But we just need to cook up this fish. I would consider hosting it myself, but opening up network ports to the outside is not really advisable to people. <laughs> Letting people on your internal network, because don't forget I also have the vault, the archive, and all of the PCs running through the same network, the internal one, so... Opening up a server, a network part onto the open web. There's a few different methods you can use, but everything's sort of network stuff is always a faff to start with. So, I guess that's why these companies actually make a lot of money, these server companies who host servers for people. 
Um, okay, I'll leave you to stand on that. Oh, no, what? Give, give me. Yes, I was wanting to go on that site. <laughs> Since you sent the link. But obviously I've just been like, head down. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have anything else. Yeah, it's one of those where there are a few companies. And I think there's a couple that I've seen as well. Like in the years of searching for servers and stuff. That I've considered. But I don't know. I don't know which we'd end up with, if I'm honest. Aha, bread. Excellent. Emerald. I mean, we'll take that too. We'll take all these torches as well. They don't need them. But yeah, I'm going to have a look at server.pro as well. And I'll try and find my old list of service of providers as well. See what we can find. Um... There's a house right there. And I think it's going to be inaccessible for all of these. I'm thinking it might be mine. Okay, we'll finish rummaging through this area. I believe I might have done. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Have you seen what the free one actually involves? Uh, sort of, not involves. Sort of comes with. Or did you just like, see free and go, I will share? <laughs> Oh, actually, you sell bread. You. Give me all of that. Thank you. Excellent. So what is... What is included with the free one? And again, don't forget, you're talking to an idiot. <laughs> I can build servers. I can operate servers. Doesn't mean I know what I need for a Minecraft server. <laughs> or at least a, an actual Minecraft server that other people are going to use. Because I do still have one of my old servers that I'm thinking about using as an, a personal Minecraft server. To sort of have this on its own you know, server and be able to access it from any system and all that stuff. Also, it'd mean I don't have to copy the save folder, which is a hoot save. Okay, I think that one might actually become a house, but just finish. Finish exploring up here. Okay, yeah, we've definitely found our house down there. Okay, so we'll dump that, dump that. And with the eggs, got an idea. That's got a thing in. Hold on, there's a farm back here. Okay. That's a fence, isn't it? Yes. Okay, this is going to be our little place if any of these hatch. No, okay. I'm going to have that as like a little chicken farm. How are we doing on space? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. 
or keep. I think that's going to be the easiest way. Put that back. Uh, let's get rid of the... Oh, no. What are you doing, Paul? There you go. Excellent. Sleep. Right, I need to write down where this village is now. Come on. I always like to write down the locations of things that I've found. Because then in situations like this, where other villages, like, I'm sure. Oh, I actually know if I've been. I can tell if the numbers are roughly the same. So we were at like 1,000. 1,700 by it's like yeah uh, desert village just let me find out which direction I'm heading again That direction and that direction. Okay, let's get me pointing in that direction and then I'll read your messages, sir. We have food. All that good stuff. So we should be alright. A wire. That way. <clears throat> okay. Sounds about right. Uh, TV cars, one gig of RAM, hosted in... Oh, nice. Of course, Montreal. Home of the Canadiens. One of the original teams in the NHL. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Oh, nice. So it's actually like $5 a month is sort of, I think, the average anyway. Nice. Well, I will definitely take a look at that. Amy, anyway, if it's free, you might as well. <laughs> I know that those specs won't be conducive to having like many mods, if any, but definitely enough to at least get everyone in the same world and playing on the same server. Sort of like an entry level that if you then upgrade. Exactly. It being free is the impressive part and then when you upgrade you can start adding mods because you know the better specs are more conducive to adding mods to it I have excuse me I haven't seen many that offer a free tier if I'm honest a lot of them do start out dirt cheap but are that kind of spec of like one gig and that. there's a skeleton just stood just under there yeah <laughs> yeah they all want money all of them which you know is I know what goes into... You right, guy? Like, I know what goes into building a server and maintaining a server. And so, them wanting money for it has never been, like, a pissy thing for me. It's never been me going, like, oh, how dare you want money for this? Like, I, I know what it takes to... And especially if they're renting the server space as well, which a lot of these companies do. They'll actually rent the servers as opposed to own them. Which keeps costs down for them, but also adds the cost of renting the server as opposed to, you know, maintaining and 
owning hardware. Oh yeah, like I knowing that. Hey, look, another village. I find a lot of villages today. But knowing all that, knowing how much, excuse me, goes into operating servers and stuff, like that's impressive that they can offer it for free. That house is on stilts. I want that house. That's going to be mine. <laughs> you may notice when I go to these villages, I want the stupidest house that is so far away from everyone else. Just so that they can't get near me. So we'll raid this village, then go up to my house. I'm going to say, please be a friendly village. <laughs> I've not... I, oh no, I think I've been to one of these villages before. Hello. I have nothing to offer. Apart from bread. And a compass. Yes. Compass. Very helpful. Very, very helpful. Because our... The village that we're trying to get back to, I believe, I have reset as spawn. I think I moved the spawn to it. So that should point to the place where we were going. Or at least in the same direction. Oh. <laughs> Guy just randomly stood on top of the anvil. At least these people all seem to be in the right place. Oh, yes. Frickin' yoink. Oh. We had a stutter. To as well. Probably eat some of this bread, shouldn't I? <laughs> but yeah, so one of the things when we get. We'll probably do it with increased subscription numbers on here because that's. You know. That's a little bit more regular money that you sort of know is there. But when that happens, we will probably go to a paid tier of Minecraft server. And obviously dependent on the uptake of people joining it and stuff like that. And what people are doing in it. But I'm thinking that's a way we can be sure that the money's there. That and potentially, potentially something like Patreon, maybe. Because obviously, uh, YouTube doesn't have the same sort of subscription as Twitch does. Right, I need to get up this. Yeah, so obviously, YouTube doesn't have the same sort of subscription, so I'm thinking maybe... If people are just watching videos on YouTube, it would probably make sense to do something like Patreon for it. Because obviously not everyone on YouTube is going to come over to Switch, um, vice versa. Is that another little bit of... that is another bit of farm all the way over here. This village is massive. It just doesn't know it. <laughs> But just like, it, it feels weird saying stuff like that. You know about like Patreon and stuff? Because it makes me feel like I'm saying, oh, I, I want money for this. But it's like, I just want to be able to support the things that we want to do. <laughs> and also put my full time into this. Oh my god, he was stood there ominously. <laughs> Especially when that beat kicked in as well. Hey, buddy. Off the edge. Go on. Oh, off. Go. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping he'd fall off. It's like, it just feels weird saying it. But I mean, at this point, I've... Hopefully. Everyone sort of understands that money is the thing that is required to do pretty much anything nowadays anyway.
But like, if we can all together pull together with our funds and stuff and create servers and things like that. Like, eventually, I wouldn't mind having a server that has, say, you know, multiple different games on it. So if we actually hire, like, a proper server, we can install whatever we want on that server. So we'd be able to put, say, an Ark Survival Evolved and stuff like that on there. <laughs> so what are the management feature things like on it also try cranking your settings see what you can do push that thing to its max i want to know where it breaks go on what are the catches i mean we knew there'd be some catches anyway but Oh look, that's where he's sleeping. Because this is the thing, I want to know where it breaks. I want to know what we can do with it. All that stuff. Oh nice. Which system are you running? I apologize for the camera just going vertical then. I may have I may or may not have nudged them out. That way and that way, but not too far in that direction. Actually we've got the compass. Okay. So the compass should now point towards our destination. Yeah, I mean, we can live with resetting the server every hour. As in, turning it back on. That's fine. And I mean, from, again, from their side. Oh, nice. That's cool. From their side, I can understand why they're doing that. With the hour limit for non-paid versions. So their costs are going to be in maintaining that server. So if somebody's on the server and using it, fair enough. If somebody's not using the server, you don't want to be supporting that on your systems. Because you're going to be paying the maintenance costs on that server still. Plus the electric and the networking, all that stuff on those servers for someone to not be using them. Hey, we're actually quite big on that. So it makes total sense, but... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But in all fairness, it would just be like GTA where we just sort of go, yo, who's on Minecraft? And then we can just jump into it. Found another village. I don't know how we keep on doing this, but we found another village. <laughs> and what's worrying is I've not found these villages already. <laughs> what kind of mod commands and stuff does it have as well? That's another one. What kind of power is the on there. Nice. We'll have all of this. Oh, for f where's that little fuck you? Stupid little child thing. Oh, I hate him.
Oh, I thought you trapped a child in there. That child just stopped bouncing and started staring at me as I steal all this crap. <laughs> Deal with it, kid. These villages are actually really big as well. <laughs> like, normally they're not this expansive. So the question is, can... If you set up three operators on it, say, can they restart the server? You know, so if one of them went away, would they have the ability to start it on the next hour? I think that'd be quite an interesting thing. Because that give any of us the ability to sort of go on whenever. I was just wondering if it was in the, you know, like the FAQ bits and stuff. I assume you like skimmed them. <laughs> Okay, we have to get up here. Oh. I believe I saw another building up here. I hope I did. Otherwise I'm climbing this for no bloody reason. Oh shit. I didn't knew that one would come. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think I saw another building up here. Shame. No, I didn't. Bugger. Oh well. We'll write down where we are anyway. Or if I write down this location, you will know. Oh, was that another? I thought there were another village just over there. Right, if I write down this location, then we know where we are. I've, not, I've definitely not been here before because otherwise there'd be nothing to steal. I don't tend to leave anything for them. <laughs> if I'm honest. 280. 2. 2. Okay. That way. Although we're just following the compass now, aren't we? That's good. Oh shit. Um, can we make it to that pond? Uh, maybe if we eat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like doing this trying to see over. Hold your stomach. Ah. <laughs> I know. I remember when they remember when they announced it like what was it, twenty four days ago or something. And I was sat there and I'm like, hang a minute. That's not twenty four hours, that's twenty four days. Really, NVIDIA? <laughs> yeah, twenty four hours and then we can see something that we cannot afford. Which will be fun. More things that we can look at and be like, oh. Right, where's that sun? The problem is that everything's already leaked. <laughs> All they can do is show you budget cards now. And say, this is how much this is going to cost. By the way, remortgage your house now so that you have the money available when it releases. Oh, wow. What were you doing? 
That's the real question. We get seven in a row. Which games, though? I should probably reply to this message. Ah, fair enough. Did lowering the graphics setting help? Turn the sound off. Uh, let's let's caption that one as working. <laughs> working. Oh, nice. That's that's worrying. There we go. When did that message come in? That was like an hour ago, wasn't it? But nice. That's... That's an issue. <laughs> so the question is, have you... checked the calling? Hey, we are close to that. Um. That way? That little spit of land there? Oh, nice. I mean, 30 days of inactivity is quite nice, really. And again, totally makes sense. Yeah, screw you, child. You don't get this bed. This is my bed now. Get away. Yeah. Screw you. Get out of my window. Thing. I would, but I just really want to get these last few videos done. <laughs> you can probably understand that. Um, like I say, 10 days ago, I had 11 videos to do. Right now, I have two, and I've got to finish up on the GTA one from two two streams ago. <laughs> like, I am so close to being done with them. One of the other things I've got to do as well after this stream is I actually have to record two things. So I've got to record the end of the Minecraft stream that I'm still highlighting like the last Minecraft stream which was forever ago but I also need to record another bit of a video which is like a standalone video this way there is another portal there as well There's the village. <laughs> We've not really gone far. Now, why is this one straight underwater? Like, there is no land near it. There. That's where it is. I reckon it's two blocks down. Come on, show me, show me the chest. Swim, swim, swim. <laughs> I really hope I'm close. I'm just going to work those two now. Swim. 
I may actually come back for this at some point. With better equipment. <laughs> There we go. Or I could just do that. I mean, that too works. <laughs> Maybe if I had some light as well. We might be a little bit better. Okay. At least we can dig faster as well. It's not going to be under this, is it? I've not known it to be under stone before. But I am thinking... Oh. Wasn't to do that. It was to go down one more. This is going to turn into me just getting frustrated. Hold on a minute. I've been an idiot here. I've got TNT. Why don't I just blow this place up? Can you blow TNT up with a... With a button. Right, I need a way to escape from the TNT, actually, before I press the button. Aha. Excellent. Okay. Well, that's worrying. Um, I want to run this way. A lot. I want to run a lot this way. Because <laughs> this is going to go boom. Uh-oh. Right, okay. I am worried right now. Because the video that I'm going to film is actually one that I filmed a while ago. So back when I did the first stream, actually. I also filmed the end of the stream. But... What it was was I may or may not have put 30,000 blocks of TNT down and made the world go boom. And so I kind of know the destruction that TNT causes in this game. So here we go. Shit, it actually worked. Okay, we survived. That looks a lot lighter now. Uh-oh. Um. Well, this looks a bit different. <laughs> At least... And go on, Kai, what are the new leaks? At least our boat survived. There's some ore. You know the real annoying thing? There's still no evidence that a chest actually exists here yet. And that was all of our TNT. Oh well. I think we'll come back another day. Nice. I mean, it's also supposedly going to be about three times the price. So, you'd expect that. You'd hope that, at least. I should say, you, sh you shouldn't expect it, because... When do these companies actually give you what you expect nowadays? Okay, I think we have full inventory slots. 
Right, okay, it doesn't exist. We'll get that treasure in time. So I've got 64 of them. Get rid of all that. Get rid of the sandstone. Get rid of the sand. Don't need sand. Dirt. The gravel. Get rid of the melon seeds. Uh. Grab this. And them. That can go over there. Do I need that away? Are you setting? You're setting. And we're still at this village, so we might as well stay here. <laughs> What's the point in going away? And we also have a bed now because we killed that child. Seriously, if anyone took my streams out of context, like I'd probably be locked up. See, I think out of all of us, I think I'm the only one with a legitimate use case for a 3000 series GPU. Because, I mean, look at what the RTX 2060 can do at 1080. Like, that is a solid 1080 card right there. Like, so... Anything above a 2060 is pretty overkill for a 1080 system. Like, you're just going to be able to run it at ultra settings and get slightly higher frame rates. Whereas I'm always at 4K. Like, I am natively 4K all the time. And obviously try and push the quality as far as I can. Which, let's not forget, I am locked at 60 FPS right now. On a 1080. By the end of tomorrow, my graphics card will be two generations old, technically. Go away, not your house. Yeah, but you're on a TI. Like, <laughs> I said away, away. Gonna keep on hitting him with a compass. <laughs> Like, at least yours was already sort of relevant for 4K. I've noticed. But it's one of those, like... I'm playing at 4K with pretty high settings on every game, and I'm only running a GTX 1060... at uh, 1080. And also, my resolution scaling is always one-to-one. -one. I never drop the resolution scaling. Just to make it work at 4K. Like, if I have to do that, I might as well play it at 1080. Is my theory on it. As soon as you start messing with the scaling. Unless you're going up. Unless you are rendering it at a higher uh, resolution than you're playing it at. But actually, Kai, you could do that. Because you're playing at 1080, you could actually scale it up and have it rendering at like 1440 or 4k something like that it'd be completely fine yeah there you go see you're already doing it <laughs> that's the thing I'm always at 4k natively and that's it so, for me, an upgrade to one of the new NVIDIA cards. Alright, SP. Just like, go get your head down and fall asleep for a bit. You should feel better in a bit. And on, on one of the new cards, I probably could. Not on a 1080. <laughs> <laughs> on on a GTX 1080. Yeah. I don't think it'd appreciate that. Yes. Do that. Oh, 
Oh, look, a lava fountain. A lava fountain. I mean a waterfall. A lava waterfall. Oh, nice. What kind of squash? Uh, where Compass is pointing back a bit now, which is a bit worrying. <laughs> in all fairness, if you have to be in a coma, probably the best kind to be in. Food coma. At least a food coma isn't life-threatening. Oh, nice. Um, possibly dilute it a bit more. I know for me, if I have really strong orange, because squash isn't usually, like, pure, pure, real orange juice, it does have some flavourings and um, sugar and additives in. If I have it really strong, it does tend to give me a headache. But then again, I'm weird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I tried to catch myself on that little branch, it didn't work. Arr. I can't believe after is it like since March I think we started streaming on this channel oh god that made my stomach go funny that one I think it was March when we started streaming on this channel and then May's highlights were the first to be uh, May's streams were the first to be highlighted I think and we're actually at the point now where after this stream I'll just be making video for YouTube and not highlighting streams which is just I'll still highlight some streams, you know. Just won't be as often. <laughs> it just feels weird to think about what we've, what we've actually achieved in that time. All right, where is this compass taking me? All right, spawn is actually minus 256 by 202. And I recognize this. Sure I do. I've been down here. Somewhere in the middle of this is one of those underwater temple things with the bloody dick fish. I think it's over there somewhere. A nice guy. Kind of looking under the water for it. Oh, I've crashed into some ice. We're like the Titanic. We're now going to sink. We're all dead. <laughs> I don't know why I always move as if I can, as if I'm going to be able to see more by doing this. What, using the locate? Hold on a minute, that's... That's been built by me. That's how we found the mansion in the last stream. That's... Oh my god, it's this save. This is the house on the spawn island and those two leaves still haven't fallen over there. I remember this island like four Minecraft streams ago now. This is the island we started on and it's gone through a drastic change. <laughs> it's Turtle Island. I 
And you can always hear zombies on this island. I don't think there's actually an under, like a cave or anything. Look, I've got my farm. With the asshole berry bushes. Furnace. A box of shit. <laughs> I didn't expect to be back here. Or at least I didn't expect to come back and find it. I should say. Right, let's cook that up. Dump that there and that there. I can't believe we actually came back here. Okay, so spawn is somewhere in this area. Oh. Here. This is spawn. <laughs> Ow. I believe we've actually come back to this island. Quite impressed. See if we can get some chickens on here. Hooray! We have a chicken. Now, you. Come here. Love me. Oh. Oh, I've run out of seeds. I, I imagine chickens don't like mutton, do they? No. Stop looking outside. There is no freedom for you. Where are you? There you are. Hello. When you grow up, we'll let you go outside. There you go. How's that for a deal? He's going to run out as soon as I open that. We're going to be at the point of just like... Oh, nice. See, what gets me is that chat. I'm just looking at the chat in the Discord now. With that chart, it's actually got, it looks like it's got a lot of information, but it actually has no information on it at all. Having 1x, 2x, 3x, completely irrelevant. It tells you absolutely nothing. Also, what it doesn't say is anything about the rest of the system. If you go on something like Gamers Nexus and take a look at their, at the charts that Steve will put up, it'll have what CPU, what GPU, what RAM, motherboard, power supply. It'll have everything there for you, so you actually can have a baseline reading. Whereas that chart just says, on an unspecified rig, your 2080 Ti is your 1X for all of them. But it doesn't tell you what 1x is. That could be 10 FPS. So if 2x of like 1, 10 FPS is only 20 FPS, that'd be two times better than it. So without that information, it actually is completely irrelevant because that could say that could be saying that you're actually going to end up with 20 FPS. Nice. I like it. It's going to be good when that gets here. The, does it say when the delivery is going to be? Does it give you that time yet? Ah. Stupid bird. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, come on, they should know. If they're building the system, they should know that it doesn't take, like, friggin' five days to build. Goodbye, Turtle Island. Goodbye, Island of Many Leaves. Oh, we've crashed. Goodbye, Island House. What, what is their, um, what is their estimate just in general? You know, like, their overall sort of FAQ answer. Oh, there you go. 
Oh, there you go. That's that's not bad. Not bad, I guess. Oh, well, there you go. Like I say, it's not going to take them long to... What? Put the components in a case. Press the power button and go, yes, it boots. <laughs> yeah, pre-prep is just... The items are still on the store shelf. But somebody... We will send Dave out to get them soon. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to try and navigate to our island house, uh, to our fortress, from memory. I've done it three times from that location now. Should be able to do it. I believe I went to the left of this. Unfortunately, compass isn't going to help me anymore. That's upsetting. Yeah, my plan for this stream is that once we reach our fortress again, that's when I'm going to call this stream over. So that I can finish that GTA edit, do the... whatever edit we did, whatever stream we did. Blue shift. Do the blue shift edit. Whilst this... Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll just leave it at reception, that's fine. Jeez. We're going to get the GTA edit done, get the blue shift one done, because both of them are prepped ready, while this is transcoding and proxies are being made. Then. Done. Like I said, I may also record the end of another one that goes up on Friday. Actually, that goes up on Friday. The last part of the last Minecraft stream goes up this Friday, so I need to get that recorded. At this point, people are probably like wondering what I need to record, but you'll find out on Friday. Hello? We're dolphin. Okay, I murdered all of the animals in this area, and there's a temple just over there. There's a horse I could have given that armor to, which I left in that bloody desert temple. Not that any of these horses actually like. Here we go. If I run over here... Trying to picture it in my head, based on the old streams. I believe I go up this hill here. And then when I get to about here, I turn. And yep, there's the chicken, there's one of them, there's the other one. One of them was stood just there, on the first one. Okay, we're doing good. We're in the right direction. And this hollow here is where I stole some coal. Don't ask me why I remember this stuff. I don't know. I have no idea how I'm remembering where I, where I got coal from. I also remember that there was a creeper up here. Near a lot of coal. But it's also on the same hill that I've left a bed. I hope. <laughs> Here's a weird question that's Minecraft related. Is there a set amount of animals in the Minecraft world? Because we know that the land does have a finite edge there is an edge to the minecraft world or at least there's an edge that is playable up to beyond which it becomes unplayable um, so my question is how many animals are actually spawned 
when the game is generated. And if you were to go around and kill them all, however many years that'd take, that's where the creeper was. But if you were to kill them all, would there genuinely be no more animals left in that Minecraft world? Move, stupid sheep. Ah, I see a torch. Found me bed. Here it is. Okay. Where's the sun? Not low enough to sleep. Great. Okay, so we need to head in that direction. Come from over there. Sort of see the river and over there is where we landed. There. Where we have to go. I remember picking my way down this so it is possible. Here we go. Okay, we're good. And once again, I'm pretty sure I said this in the last time we played this uh, this map. But this cave was a genuine creeper cave. With like three creepers in the first time we went past it. Hey, how are we doing? So it's somewhere around here. Fairly confident I came this way. Don't think I went over towards this. No. No, I did go over towards the snow. I think. I'm unsure. It's either left or right. And I don't want to check the coordinates again. I should know where I'm going. If I go straight, it's left or right. I should be able to see it. I have a, I've got a bad feeling that it was to my right. Sorry, I'm going, I'm going left. Maybe a mistake. Ah, excellent. Yeah, I got dragged. I got dragged this way by this tower in the distance, which is actually an ice tower. And I went to the left. So if I stay on the left-hand side of that ice tower, I should be okay. I'm trying to remember something from like three months ago now. <laughs> I've played a lot of different games in that time. <laughs> Satisfying. Hopefully, I can remember where this house of ours is. Right. Okay, ice structures. We're on my right-hand side. Hello, polar bear. We need to head this way. I should hopefully recognise some weird things. Like a ledge that I stood on. Oh, that's a big cave. Here, maybe? What is this? Right in the middle of the screen. Because it looks like... Oh, it's just some random floating dirt, isn't it? That was on my right. Go through this gap. Because I stood on the side of a cliff next to some... Like, trees. And found an area that I wanted to build in. So I was looking for a large flat area. I'll check you out updating them. <laughs> yeah, they all are just the link. <laughs> The reason I'm keeping those as the normal links as well, you know, instead of using the uh, .bearbytemedia.com links, is because they're a lot easier to identify if we leave them as, you know, like you've done with the Discord one, as the actual link. It's easier to identify at a glance. This is going to get really difficult if it's going to turn to night while we're trying to navigate Ah! Aha! We're nearly here! 
on that hill in the distance i'm pointing at the screen as if you can see it but just there on that hill i can see some smoke coming up from it so if i turn to my left <laughs> that works better than i could have ever imagined all i remembered was that there was a village up on the hill that i didn't see when i built the this but when i was exploring afterwards i found it we've made it home we're home go away move spider here we go oh thank god that still worked fuck you Come on, golems. Thank you. Oh, we made it. We're actually back. <laughs> and from the sound of it... From the sound of it, there are actually golems opening up the trapdoor again. That's frustrating. Right, what's in that one? That's random crap. We have some... That one's food. And bone. Because bone is food now, it seems. Arrows. All that good stuff. <laughs> nice. Now do you see though, looking at that YouTube link, do you see why I started using the Bearbyte Media domain? And was like, I already have it, so why not utilize it? Because how, how kludgy is that? Like, can you imagine trying to share that easily? Whereas what you can do is just say bearbytemedia.com and it will forward you to that. And full stream replays are literally just replay.bearbytemedia.com. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, Discord. I think I set up five of them. Mainly because I'm fairly sure that five was the most I was allowed to set up or something. Um, yeah, you might follow it. I, go on, go on the link. <laughs> I can't remember if it's follow or like. It might be like, uh, like our Facebook page. I think that might be it. Oh yeah, I can pick up my regs, can I? Okay, we have seven eggs, and we got three chicks from them, sweet. There's only one cow here. Ugh, oh, let me out. I have not been on this save in so long. I genuinely think the last time I was on this save was on the stream. However long ago that was. It was at least two streams ago. Two Minecraft streams ago. That we played this save. There we go. Look at all the villagers.
<laughs> That's only one floor of them. Oh look, an empty bed. And three more, four more, eight more. Eight empty beds over here. Can't believe we have eight en empty beds. <laughs> oh, what are you doing awake? Who are you? Mason. Okay. And you close the door in my face. That's rude. Wow, we actually have quite a few empty beds. That's good. Ah, I'm very pleased with this, um, with this fortress that we made. <gasps> I thought I was holding shift. I was holding control, so he set off sprinting towards the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, test away, mate. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought I was holding shift. That was scary as hell. Oh. Hey! Oh yeah, I forgot there's a two second delay on chat. So, you and me don't have that delay. But there's... The two second delay is active. Because, according to Twitch, it gives mods a chance to actually catch messages before everyone sees them. And I realised it wasn't set, so. It suggested that I set it, so I did. <laughs> if I'm honest. Golem. Iron Golem. Iron Golem. Oh god, that creeper is right on him. Iron Golem. When I am Gollum. No? Oi! Gollum! Reaper! Reaper! Oh, for fuck's sake. What's the point in I am Gollum if he's not going to help me with a creeper? Oh, you bastard. Oi! Oi! No! Yeah, screw you. Don't go in there, Gollum. Oh, he's ribbing my bloody floor now. Right, you saw it. You'll saw him though, won't you? We'll take on the creeper. But yeah, so basically, you now have a a two-second window to catch any messages before they go live. Which is good. I mean, technically I do as well, but I need to set up my second screen so that I can see all of the chat messages as well. Oh, it's just stopped being night. That's a shame. Yeah, so I need to set up the... The second screen on here, which will give me access to all of the mod view and the chat and all of that. At the same time as being able to see everything else. Like the Discord, the Streamlabs. Yeah. You know you know what's on the screen. It's just chaotic. So I'm hoping having a second screen will sort that out a bit. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't worry. Probably not got long left here. Might take some of these berries and try and feed that fox that was outside. Ugh. If I could make it through. Oh, way up. Uh, I just saw him. A... I knew I'd seen one. Well done, Iron Golem. 
kill the bloody Enderman then. Coming in my bloody fortress, how dare it? Right, where's that fox? Fox! Where are you? Got berries. Who are you? Where did it run to? Can't have gone far. Sure of it. That moment when you realise you've done too good of a job blending in your castle to the environment. I'm not seeing it. That's frustrating. Disappeared. Oh. That. No, it was a cow moving. A bee. Found a bee. Do bees like sweet berries? The other problem with the fox, it's cute, but you can't tame it. There's something moving there. Oh my god, there's a beehive. There's a beehive that spawned on one of the trees that I planted. And there's a bee in it as well. Okay, so I have a single grass. Uh, a single grass block. I'll start repairing this. <laughs> right. Okay, I, I believe... We're almost done. And like I say, I only have like two and a half videos left to edit. By the way, do you know how long that actually took me off stream to do? <laughs> Before I realised that I needed to use gravel. So that it would drop out of the way. Like it is embarrassingly long the amount of time it took to figure that out. <laughs> I do wish that sticky pistons would attach to sticky pistons. That would be useful. Can you stick two blocks together just using the slime? Is that a thing that you can do? I've never tried. That was my first time playing with redstone. Or anything like that. So for my first time I was quite impressed. But I'm going to try we don't need the sheet of locations. Game mode. Creative. Game mode. Creative. Thank you. Okay. Right. I want a sticky piston. We'll have a lever. Also grab some redstone just so I can be a little further away. A couple of stone blocks and... S would a slime ball do? I don't know. Um, that like that. That like that. No, okay. Can't apply it like that. Fair enough. Well, now I know. Look, this guy's always stood on the edge. He's living dangerously. There we go. We actually made it back. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how. But we somehow stumbled upon our own little fortress. 
So at some point, what I'll do is I'll go back to where we started this stream. And I'll actually build another village underground there. Which it turns out was the intention. But yeah. That's actually going to do it. So, to YouTube, uh, if you like the last however many months of highlights, everything came from Twitch. Come join us on Twitch. You are more than welcome. To everyone else, uh, yes, that's going to do it. By the way, we are still going up. <laughs> Tell you what, let's finish this in style. There you go. <laughs> it's all good, SP. I'm finishing now. <laughs> I'm going to go and get GTA edited, Blue Shift edited, this edited. And then I'm done with the edits. And then I can start filming for the next month's worth of content on YouTube. And we can actually just stream whatever we want. No worry about having to edit it later or anything like that. But yeah, so that's going to do it. So we are live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 4pm UK time-ish. <laughs> Videos go up on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well. You can catch the full replays of the streams over on YouTube on the replay channel. Uh, what else is there? There is, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Discord server is up. You should come join us on that. And that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in a biz. Goodbye. <laughs>